call it before it began. This is the most incredible looking game I've ever seen in my life. Franco's kick goes through the end zone. And there goes a flag down. Unsportsmanlike swimming, no doubt. <laughs> We'll see what the call is. Now you get the signal. Yeah, Scott Burris says it's offside. Mike Rozier is going to listen in. Let's see what it was. Offside. Oops. Offside. Kicking team. Personal foul. Receiving team number 31. The penalties offset, re-kick. So Ira Albright was called for unnecessary roughness on that play. There's the scoring drive of the Bulls. They only had to go 11 yards. Took them four cracks to get it in and a couple of minutes off the clock. Michael Whiting got the touchdown, 26 to nothing. We're still in the first half with 2.05 to play. You know, at this point, normally, you might be 2.05 in the game or certainly in the third quarter, but we were about an hour and a half late getting started because of the severe thunderstorms that we've had in Jacksonville, Florida, and in the Gator Bowl. So Franco will do it all over again. We'll go back and reset. Troy Hill has been back deep for Pittsburgh much of tonight. Could really use a nice kickoff return here and get something going. Mickey Sutton, who returned one for 49 yards last week, is also uh, deep on the left side there, closest to the camera. Let's see where this one goes. Good kick after they moved, they tried it over. Hill will bring it out. Here he comes, trying to get outside near the 10. Gets a block, loses the ball. And I believe the Bulls have recovered once again. Brown down on the bottom of the pile. That's Val Brown. He's a defensive end. He's from Florida, and he's going to celebrate a little bit. Let's watch it again, Steve. First of all, this was an ill-advised run. Once he dropped it in the end zone, he should have downed it right there and taken it out on the 20. But no, he's going to run with it, loses the handle. Have you ever tried to run with a bar of soap? Well, you get the feeling there. Val Brown's got it. And uh, the Maulers are doing everything they can to hand this game to Jacksonville tonight. And they're handing them the ball real efficiently. I think, actually, it was Perryman who knocked the ball out of his hands. So it was knocked out by his own man. Personal Alex. foul. Kicking team number 26. Personal foul. Receiving team number 52. During the play, penalties offset. Re-kick. After all of that, we're going to kick it over again. I'll tell you, this may be the longest 45 seconds <laughs> in the history of football. I think I've heard this tune a couple of times today. Franco can't believe it. So we'll start it over with 37 seconds left in the first half. This is like some bizarre comedy. Like you went to sleep last night and figured, hey, I'll have a, I had something bad to eat and I might have a bad dream. And if I did, the Gator Bowl would be flooded. And the Maulers would be dropping the ball all over the place. And they'd actually have both teams on the same side of the field. It's not a dream. It's all happening right here in the Gator Bowl tonight. Ellis Rangeberger in his last game as the interim head coach of the Pittsburgh Maulers. The future of the entire coaching staff to be decided tomorrow by Hank Bullock. And of course, the future of a lot of these players will be decided over the course of the summer as the Maulers get set for trip number two down the USFL. So once again, Franco's going to try it. <laughs> Hill goes through Hill's legs. Let's see what he does. He picks it up. At the 10 yard line, he is really ripped. He is just crushed at the 10 by Joe Costello. I'm sorry to laugh, but it may be the funniest thing I've ever seen. 